Hello everyone! Today we are going to do a Japanese progress update and it's number 18 already. I'm actually wondering, is there any of you that's watched uh, the entire series since the beginning? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> I'd be very impressed. <laughs> so, just so you know, I am a little bit ill because my nose is a bit blocked, but I didn't want to not do a video and I decided to suck it up and do it anyways, so sorry if I sound a bit nasal. So, this video I think will be short and I kind of wanted to do an update on Japanese because I haven't done one in three months, I think, so it's quite a long time. And a lot of things have changed. If you've been watching my videos lately, you might know that I used to live in England and now I moved back to Paris, so that kind of changed my routine a little bit. So this means that even though in the first month uh, back I was doing my Japanese lessons, I decided to stop because it was getting a bit too much and a bit overwhelming for me because I wanted to focus on other things, uh, especially um, related to my channel. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about, you know, the future of this channel now, but yeah, I had to focus on other things. So what I decided to do was to just focus on my Anki reviews. So. I always try to do something every day, even if it's 5, 10, 15 minutes only, which, you know, is not, it's not bad, I guess, um, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, but I always try to do something in Japanese, so I keep on reviewing my vocab and doing my reviews every day. Maybe a couple of days I've missed them, but I always manage to uh, catch up on them, so that's fine. And yeah, I was kind of, I wouldn't say I was fed up with lessons, but I think they were becoming a bit overwhelming because we, me and my teacher, we covered a lot of grammar points and I felt like it would be nice for me to just focus on revising everything and reviewing everything. And that's what I'm going to discuss a little bit later. But yeah, I, I also kind of felt like I wanted to study a bit more independently. Uh, I feel like I've got the basics. Obviously, you know, there's still so much I am yet to learn about Japanese, but you know, I think uh, once you get some kind of, you know, you get the basics down, I think it's okay for you to sort of, you know, have fun, you know, venture in the solo or self-studying world, I guess. <laughs> and I wanted to try that a little bit, but if I feel like, you know, it doesn't work or I'm not really getting any progress, then I think I will move back to uh, doing lessons um, on italki, um, like I've done for almost nine months, I think. So quite a long time. So yeah, so my plan for now is, as I said, not to take lessons, but actually what I want to do is to focus on um, covering N4 content. So N4 has to do with the levels of uh, Japanese proficiency. Um, you probably know uh, if you're watching this, but just in case. So that's the N4 for the uh, JLPT. And I want to focus on especially reviewing the grammar and making sure I learn any remainder of grammar that, that I haven't covered yet. Uh, and I think I've done the big ones. I've done, what is it? The tara, uh, nara, to, and toki, which is a little bit different. And there's another one that I'm forgetting, ba. And the kureru, uh, ageru, etc. So I've done the, not the main ones, but the most difficult ones. Um, and they're still quite difficult to, um, you know, use and understand because it's very difficult, but I'm actually in the middle of reviewing them. And yeah, essentially the next few weeks and months uh, will be dedicated to reviewing this. And also I want to focus on learning the vocabulary. And on top of that, I want to focus on kanji because my reading skills are not the worst. I can recognize quite a lot of words. I mean, N5 and N4 words, obviously. Um, but I'm still struggling. I did stop doing my reviews of um, RTK, sorry. It's been such a long time that I forgot what it's called. Um, I'm trying to get back to it, but I've got like 1,800 cards behind. <laughs> um, but I'm like 1,800 cards behind, so it's a lot. But I'm really gonna try to at least do some of it every day, even if, it, if I don't go through, you know, the, all the late cards. Um, I still wanna go through it because it's really useful. Um, but it happens, you know, life happens, so it's all about, you know, uh, adapting. You know, I didn't do it, so um, maybe I'm going to try to redo it and see how that goes and, you know, trial and error, as I always say. And I also want to focus on maybe writing kanji, so I'm not going to focus too much on it, uh, but I think writing the kanji can help to memorize them. And I actually want to do a review of kanji from zero. I have reviewed already the first two books of the series, but I haven't uh, started with the kanji, and I think that could be a nice way um, to go about it, you know, while I do a review of a book, I can also study. So reviewing things for my channel is actually quite beneficial for me. So that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> 
Two more things that I wanted to discuss, it's about reading. So I haven't done a lot of reading uh, in Japanese, which I know is a shame, and I know this is something that I've been putting off for quite a long time. And I'm considering trying to use Satori. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned it before, um, but that's another app that I'd like to review and I want to test it. I only tried it for 10 minutes, so I don't really have an opinion on it yet, um, but it would be nice to try to do some reading every day, every other day, something like that. And maybe see if there's other things. I do have graded readers which I've mentioned on this series before but I think they're too easy so I'm not really learning with them. Um, so I guess you know I've improved <laughs> so that's a good thing I guess um, but they're not enough I don't think for me anymore because I think the level is more like high N5 low N4 and I'm way into N4 uh, at this stage so it's not really um, challenging enough. And the last thing but it's something that I'm struggling with is um, immersion. So I, I know the benefits of immersing and watching content in the target language, but I feel like I'm not enjoying it too much. I feel like I need to get a better level, and this is something that I've done with English. So I didn't do immersion with English until I was pretty intermediate in, in English, because um, I was learning a lot, but I couldn't understand a lot as well. And I feel like watching something and you can't understand much is frustrating, and I don't find it really enjoyable. Um, so. I don't know, <laughs> I'll have to think about this and maybe trying to watch one episode every now and then so at least I get some immersion, at least getting, you know, not used to the language, but well, I guess, yes, but also sort of hearing the language really, uh, that's already quite a good thing. Um, oops, my phone fell. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna end the video with my phone on my hand. Um, but yeah, um, it's something that I've, I haven't really enjoyed, so something to think about. Um, if you have actually some advice uh, about this, um, I'm up for grabs, I guess. Um, I don't know everything, I can always learn from you know, your guys' experience as well. Um, and yeah, that's essentially all I wanted to discuss. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. I always try to answer all your questions. Um, and you can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, don't forget that I'm all over Twitter. I mean, not really, but I love Twitter. I use it a lot. Uh, I'm trying to also get back to, well, actually just get into Instagram, but I'm struggling with Instagram. I don't think it's my platform or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm not, I, I don't know, I don't have the, the, the right intentions or, or the right motivation uh, to get into it, but maybe I'll get there eventually. Uh, just bear with me. <laughs> and yeah, on this note, I will see you later and thank you for watching this video. Bye.